What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel that has been on pause for the last like two months. I thought it had been a good minute, but I guess I gave you guys the veneers video, which wasn't that long ago. So I mean, okay, I'm sorry. I just don't know what to post anymore. And I had this idea for this video um, for a while, but obviously like it hasn't been exactly a year since I graduated. So I was kind of holding off. Um, and then I had some other ideas right now. I don't remember what they were, but basically a lot has changed in these last three months. So I figured since y'all ain't in school no more, I mean, it's, I guess you could say the semester is over and it's been a year since I graduated, which is honestly crazy. Like, I feel like I've aged 10 years in this one year. Um, and mainly the reason I wanted to make this video was because um, I remember when I first graduated, like everyone was like, oh my God, you're so young. Like I'm still in school and I don't even know how long it's going to be. Or like um, I obviously had a job. So like people would be like, oh, like it's so hard to find a job. Like, you know, like those like post-grad struggles, which are honestly really real. And I feel like coming from a first generation household, I just think that like parents do not understand the struggle. Honestly, like my... I don't know how many times my parents have said this to me, and I'm sure a lot of you first-gen kids feel the same way, but, like, my dad specifically will always say, like, you speak both languages, like, there's nothing that you can't do, like, anyone will hire you, and, like, honestly, nowadays, who doesn't speak Spanish? I feel like, I, I think, like, anyone can BS their way through speaking Spanish, and, like, honestly, like, none of my jobs have ever offered to pay me more for speaking Spanish, so... All right, so I moved outside because, well, one, it's really nice outside today. Two, my roommate got home and I'm really shy to vlog in front of people. And that's honestly another reason why I haven't made videos because I'm never home alone. And when I, by the time I get home, it's pretty late. So I'm like, mm, like everybody's home. Anyway, I was at the fact that no job has ever offered to pay me money because I speak Spanish. And my parents generally think that's a reason why I should be making more money. I should, but I'm not. And um, I don't know, they just think it's so easy to find a job nowadays. I'm like, it's really not, like it's so competitive. And specifically me, I wanna do more creative stuff and like everything that I wanna do, I feel like requires a lot of years of experience. Like that's what people are looking for, which honestly sucks, but it's fine, you know? Anyway, so a year post-grad, so I started off obviously in may was when i graduated and when i graduated i had already been hired by a startup i had initially been interning for them since january so i was interning for their sister company um i really wanted to do pr and market oh ups is here i really hope they don't come up here because it's really embarrassing i'm just gonna pretend like i'm facetiming my friends right now I'll just continue. So I had initially been working for their sister company and I wanted to be doing um, PR and marketing with them because they were an events company and I really want to do events, like uh, like event marketing, stuff like that. Um, so that's what I was doing initially. And then when it came for my internship to end, I asked if they had any opportunities there and they didn't, but they were developing an app. And so they figured like, oh, we need marketing over here if that's what you want to do. And I was kind of like, no, it's not, <laughs> um, because it was tech and wedding tech, and I'm not really interested in weddings nor in tech. So I was like, mm, I don't really want to do this, but at the same time, it is a marketing opportunity. And I mean, I had, I was just gonna finish my semester, so it was an opportunity. I'll wait. So I took it, and I definitely learned a lot. Um, there was a lot of terms that I learned because I was not a marketing major or minor. I was a comm major trying to make it in marketing. And uh, so there was a lot of stuff that I didn't know and I feel like sometimes it was expected for me to know, but I just didn't. But I was quick to learn. Like I'm definitely someone who does my research. Like I'll watch YouTube videos or look it up and try to find better ways to um, market a product. So I was starting to enjoy it a lot more. I had to become really close to my coworker. Um, we all worked remotely and they were LA based. So when I first 
started, I was the only SF employee. And then soon we recruited somebody else from the sister company who I had been interning with. So the three of us became really close. And then there was our CEO, which was the founder and the CTO and COO who were all in LA. Um, so that's where I had been working and that was part time. And then I also worked at a radio station that I had been working at since my sophomore year in college. Um, and there I did promotions and events. So um, the radio station was always something that I enjoyed doing just because everyone there was, I mean, we all had similar interests. We all liked music. It's a top 40 station. Um, it's events, you know, like there's a lot of stuff that it's fun. It's entertainment. That's what I want to do. Uh, but at the same time, I wasn't seeing a lot of growth there. So it was more so of somewhere where I had an extra income and I could do it on the weekends and it was fun and I got to hang out with cool people. Um, but like I said, I wasn't seeing a lot of growth. So really I did want to grow at the entertainment industry and I was kind of feeling stuck in both jobs where I didn't see a future with this startup. I didn't see it going anywhere because there was no investment coming in and then I didn't see myself going anywhere at the radio station because it just felt like there was there was nowhere for me to move up in events um, and so then um, I was just kind of like working I want to say 60 hour weeks uh, where I would just sit on my computer all day answer phone calls do interviews like I was literally living and breathing this startup like that is startup world honestly <laughs> um, somebody's coming quick shout out to my neighbor that man is so nice like he is literally my father away from home he brings me bottles of wine well not anymore because he's not working but like he works at a restaurant so he always gives us wine and they're really sweet anyway back to where I was um, so yeah, so like I was just investing a lot of time into this company that I felt wasn't investing as much into me. Um, so I started seeing it as more of a personal investment where I was, I was putting in all this work because I wanted it to be good and if it's gonna have my name, like it better be looking good, you know? And I, I really enjoyed doing marketing. So, you know, like I'm someone who like constantly has all these ideas and I had so many ideas of things that we could do but it was so hard to do it because there was no investment coming in. So if there's no money, like there's really not much that we can do. And so that's where I started growing frustrated because I was like, I feel stumped because none of my ideas are being developed because there's no budget for it. And then I felt like I was in a really high position. Like I was the marketing director for a while and that was really like my ultimate career goal to be a marketing director. And then, but you know, like at the end of the day, I'm not a marketing expert. Like I just graduated. I've only been doing this for so long. I want to have someone that I can learn from. And there was nobody that could teach me that. Like there was no CMO. Like it was just me and my coworkers. Like it was like really low pay, really, really low pay to where I had to keep that side job. And even then it was like this job and my side job. And I'm still like, tight on money like there's no real savings and so it was frustrating um but again like i really enjoyed being able to put ideas out there and like market a product so i stayed while looking for other jobs um there wasn't anything that was really intriguing to me like i would really like to work in the entertainment industry or beauty or fashion and um here was mostly like tech and like software development stuff like that that I was just like I really do not care for this stuff um, so it was getting hard because I was like am I gonna make a decision to take on another job that I'm not very passionate about for more money or just stay here somewhere where I already know the people and the people like me and am not making money it was very hard like I think I was really in my head about things um, and then December came around like jobs like work was just getting so so stressful I just wanted to straight up quit because it was just getting to be too much and for what you know um, then January comes around 2020 hasn't it been a year so 2020 comes around and um, I start seeing how I had just gotten a raise in December um, so the raise like shut me up a little bit like <laughs> I was like all right I guess I'll stay for a little bit more and then but it still wasn't like what I wanted to be getting paid and then um, in January 
there were a lot more budget cuts and it just was not looking good and so I was like I don't think my future is safe here I don't think my finances are safe here um, so I was really trying to find something else but I'm obviously not gonna quit a job if I don't have something else cuz like your girl can't afford that so then mid January uh, my boss asked to schedule a phone call with me and I ended up getting let go because of budget cuts and I honestly was kind of like I was kind of whatever about it because like I said like it was getting really stressful to work there and it just it didn't seem worth it to me anymore um, but at the same time I was kind of like I still need this job you know um, and it was really awkward because I mean like no hard feelings towards my boss or anything but it was just so awkward because she kept trying to talk to me as a friend and like ask me how I was feeling and I was just like girl like I don't know what you want me to say like you want me to cry on the phone right now I, I don't know what you want from me like I was just I was stressed it was like it was nothing else but stress over rent <laughs> like I really did not care about losing my job I wasn't like feeling embarrassed about it or anything like I was just like how am I gonna pay for rent because I know my radio job does not pay for rent um and then like after my coworkers obviously were texting me and calling me like I'm so sorry and this and that and that's kind of when it started to hurt my ego <laughs> like I was just kind of like damn I got let go because I consider myself a really hard worker and I know that I give a lot for so little you know um and it was it, yeah like it frustrated me like I was like damn like I had so much more to give and like now where am I supposed to take it to and then, uh, but at the same time, I was also kind of like, I mean, I'm only 21. Like, this is kind of like the clean slate that I was looking for because there were times when I, I regretted uh, not traveling before starting a career because I was like, now when am I going to be able to leave? Like, I'm only going to keep moving forward after this. And if I get a full-time job or if like I'm, I can't like leave my job and then just expect things to keep moving like I was very focused on my career and there were times when I was like damn like I should have done other stuff before starting my career so when that happened I was like all right like this is my chance like I finally get some days off um I can do like I can start booking my flights and this and that <laughs> and then um i went to the radio station and, like i let them know that i had been let go due to budget cuts and i wanted some more hours and um they were quick to help me like i got a lot more hours that first month and my paycheck was way bigger than what it usually is so i was like okay okay and then corona came in dang she really like i was like it can't get worse than being let go from your job like there's really like there's not much more that we can do after this but suddenly it does get worse because so in february i think like late february i had started a new job as a front desk receptionist at a hotel and um i was like all right like this is cool this is gonna pay for my bills and I have the radio station to like keep my career moving forward but the hotel shut down because of corona so like now what and then obviously like it's just damn dude anyway so now that I've told you guys how my 2020 has been going um, I honestly really hesitated making this video because I didn't want to make it sound like I'm like crying about it or, like my life sucks like I feel like people are gonna be like oh my god you know like every time that I tell my friends like oh like this happened that happened like everyone's just like personally I just like things to me are not that deep because I stay prepared you know like I'm always like well what if this happens what if that happens so I always have a plan B so I was honestly really grateful that I always had two jobs like I was like thank god I still have this other job to fall back on and it's like I've been doing social media and like analyzing stuff with them and just other stuff that I'm like okay like this is marketing <laughs> so I'm happy with where that's going I really just wanted to make this video because I think a lot of people feel that post-grad stress and pressure from like family friends parents you know like every time that somebody saw me everyone was like oh do you have a job and like it's very condescending um I don't know about y'all but like coming from a Mexican household like people are so freaking chismosos entrometidos like so condescending dude like I remember people would be like oh well like what are you doing 
And I mean, like, honestly, nobody even understood. If I, okay, I was just like, oh, I work for an app and a radio station. And they're like, oh, well, like, what do you do there? And I was like, oh, um, I'm the marketing director at the um, app. They are like, literally nobody even knew what that meant. They were like, oh, so like, does that have to do with anything that you studied? I'm like, I mean, I was a comm major, so yes. Like, <laughs> I remember on graduation night, I, me and my family went to get pizza after graduation. And I was waiting in line for the bathroom. And this man was there and he was like, oh, so what are your plans now? Do you know? And I was like, yes, I do know. Thank you. And so then I gave him my whole life plan. And he was like, oh, wow, you do know. I'm like, yeah, don't come at me. Like, don't. Like, I hate when people come at you like that. It's just so disrespectful. And even if you don't know, like, don't worry about it, dude. It's really nobody else's business. And yeah, like, that's really why I wanted to make the video because, like, I don't think a lot of people talk about the kind of stuff that they struggle. Like, we all know it's hard to find a job, but nobody tells you the steps nobody like shows you like the stuff that they go through and i think like the things that i've been going through these last few months are very real and like and honestly it was like it shook me like i was like damn losing your job at 21 that's like a 40 year old's problem um so that's kind of why i feel like i've aged so much in this last year i'm excited to see like what happens in this next year um so anyway uh good luck out there <laughs> stay inside because this is not a joke I'm really trying to go back outside and um yeah so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time we'll see what happens hopefully the world doesn't end ah, ha, ha, ha.